Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jamina Love back with another video. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing my busy bees? Lovely, I hope I am doing it and I keep on doing it. Keep it moving and keeping it pushing. And I would like to push on through this video without my phone counseling out on me. So I've scrapped this a ton of times, okay? But let's roll it then. Let's roll it quick. That way I don't lose it. I wanted to try my Oprah Pro palette. I caught this when it was on sale for $27. It is a $99 palette. You get all these beautiful shades and a blush, a banana powder. This is an eyeshadow and this is also an eyeshadow. These are eyeshadows, a bronzer, and a five color wheel highlight. And yes, uh, all the colors are in the back. The color wheel is called Beverly Hills. But I want to do a very sexy, simple, glittery, smoky eye. Something I've been dying to do. So I'm going to pull out me some scotch tape here and get going. And I guess we will talk about what I did this weekend. Nothing. I planned to go out and ended up not being able to. Uh, these nerve tests that they do have been killer on my hands because I got the hands done just this past week. So I'm a little wounded bird. I got a glove on because I don't want it to get uh, my band dirty. So if you see that, that's all that is. And I'm going to put some setting powder under my eye to catch any fallout because your girl Oprah is dusty. She is dusty, baby. I'm just going to use one of my fluffier powder brushes. And I know I'm going kind of messy with it right here because I just don't want to have to scrap this and do it again. I was really impressed with the look, but the video would take too long if I had my my way, but it doesn't want to fit in my phone, you know, but it would be too long uh, as far as YouTube is concerned too, so I had to do my face first, and I'm going to dig into this very rich burgundy color, which was right next to the blush. Did any of you guys catch Marlena from Makeup Geek's makeup tutorial that she did a little bite-sized tutorial on Instagram on Friday? That girl is so talented, I swear. And she did it with no time flat. I know it's editing, but she can totally whip it out. And you see that? That was one of the things she was whipping out, you know, just real quick, you know, dab it in, get your placement of your crease, fill your eye socket, it's very important you fill your brushes, and learn your eye shape to shape your face. And I thought, yeah, okay, yeah, because a lot of the times, you know, we just, we just be rubbing it on. Sometimes, and there's those lazy days, but there's those days that you want to be extra. And today's one of those days. And you can still be extra without being overpowered with harsh techniques, you know. Because I suffer from carpal tunnel pretty bad and nerve damage in both hands and wrists nerve damage in my shoulders, my neck, my back. Um, sometimes using a brush is hard and it really depends on the brush. It really depends on how I hold the brush, you know, to make sure that I can get a nice blend and not have my eyes looking like crazy and boo-boo the fool, you know. 
just can't be looking like boo the fool going to the store. So I put that on the deeper on the outer corner of my eye and deeper on the inner corner of the eye. Dragged it all the way in. Now normally that would close off your eye, you would assume, but because we're going to use a lot of shimmer, it's going to make the eye open up a little bit more. So I'm going to dust off my my brush. Oops, sorry, shaking you up because I have the washcloth in front of me. I'm um, going to dip into the blush because it's a lighter pink and blend, use that under the brow. It has a little shimmer to it too. So that's nice too, but I can... I like to double up a lot of my products, you know. Like even the contour shade that they provide is too light for me. It's actually more of a, um, a foundation color. So I'll use that as a foundation color. There's nothing you can do with makeup that'll make it wrong. Nothing. Except abuse it. That we don't do. I don't abuse it. And wasteful makeup being is an, is an abuse. It's a crime against nature. So, I've been learning that the hard way my whole life. Because I'm a, a makeup saver. I'm a makeup collector of like one of the kinds. Limited edition. But my daughter did make a very big, you know, good point that use makeup is love makeup and if you're not using it you're not loving it so I had to listen and if I wasn't using it you know I have decluttered it and had it if I'm not going to save it and put it in the vault because there's some things that I'll never touch that are in the vault that um that I will definitely definitely um pass them on to my sister mail friend mail what have you and I'm thinking that would be a really nice program to put forth. What do you guys think? Um, I know with the pandemic right now, it is pandemonium to think about swapping makeup. Because there are sites we buy makeup from like Macari, Macari, or eBay, or whatever. We buy makeup. It's just sometimes you don't use it it doesn't go with your skin tone you may have swatched it there are ways to sanitize and share these used products and all you have to do is ask and we will provide you with that information those who know it those who don't will ask somebody who does like you know for instance Karen Anu MUA she I had gave a tutorial not too long ago on fixing a broken palette and showing you exactly how to sanitize a palette with a, a piece of tape to freshen up your eyeshadow. And I thought that's a nifty trick. And it, it's supposed to help with hard pan. Sometimes hard pan is even harder to get off than you want. So you're not able to use this, the tape method. Maybe you got to get a thicker tape. You know, scotch tape doesn't always work. But a thicker tape could, you know? So let me, just for example, I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. <sighs> My blush is kind of hitting hard pan. Because I've had to do this video so many times. And swatches, and it's just crazy. So you take the scotch tape, and you put it on there. Give it a little touch. You rip it off. Sometimes you can do it two or three more times, but because I am really getting in there and rubbing it on there, it's not going to do it again. But it's freshening up the eyeshadow, taking off a coat without scratching it with a, um, with a coin to take off that layer of hard pan. As you see, I'm just rubbing it with my thumb and just it easily comes off a layer and now it's all nice and fresh. You can take an antibacterial wipe, a hand sanitizer, wipe all over, you know, take the 91% alcohol spray, 
the palette itself, let it dry, sit open and dry, and then boom, it's fresh, it's ready to go. It's, give it a nice home. Give it a, a home that will, somebody will use it. And that will, that will bless your little makeup obsessional heart, I think. So on the lid, I put a little bit of that purple, the light purple shimmer that you saw. And I want to put, try this from, that I got in my box charm, the Studio Dream Liquid Eyeshadow. And that's where I'm going to put that on the lid. I have not removed the tape because I'm going to use that also as a guide for my, uh, my liner. That is a pretty gold. I'm leaving out the first one third of my eye. Just so that I'll have some room to move this product to uh, to blend. I'm using a stiffer little dome brush just to dab it down so it doesn't get into my crease and then drag its butt out. That way if it's too thick or there's a clump there, I have moved it and it will dry successfully. So yeah, that so my my idea is what I didn't finish saying, my, my thoughts was doing a gesture, if it's in your family, if it's someone on YouTube, if it's someone who, you know, just someone, and you don't have, you have no use for it, hair products, because a lot of us get a lot of subscription boxes, and I use a lot of my, for instance, I use a lot of my subscription box leftovers that I don't use as gifts. And I make gift bags at the end of the year for Christmas. And I've been collecting, you know, paparazzi mystery bags, which is jewelry. And putting that aside. And I just by instance didn't even know, you know, that there was a birthday coming up. And it was from my, um, one of my mother's dear friends from high school that watched me grow up that I haven't seen and, and don't remember. So sadly, I wasn't trying to be rude to her. I just wanted to, I didn't want her to know that I didn't remember, honestly. So I looked at her Facebook and I seen the things that she liked to wear on her face. She's a makeup lover, she's a lash lover. She, uh, she's just, Everything that we are, basically, with makeup and lashes and things. I'm going to stick a little bit of the Studio FX color um, glitter highlight type thing on the back of my glove here. So I can dab it on the inner one third of my eye. And I helped my mom make her a beautiful um, birthday basket of goodies. And the first thing my mom says is, I thought you said you didn't remember her and that she didn't, that she liked makeup and this, that, and the other, you know? And I was like, um, I just basically looked at her Facebook, mom, and looked at her post and looked at her face and looked at, she also got subscription boxes and what she posts as far as her makeup that she owns and what she don't own. And I seen that she liked berries, you know, berry color and I seen that she liked the, you know, very chunky, chunky earrings, and it was just sim simple, simple math, you know, of the mind of a makeup enthusiast or whatever, of a makeup lover. Just like if anybody had, they see my Instagram or YouTube, they would, or even my, um, any of my, my online personas, they would say, oh, she loves makeup, she's always doing makeup, she's always got this, so 
what do you give the person who has all the makeup in the world you think is a gift? Something you rarely see them with, you know, in their makeup tutorials. So if they love eyeshadow, and they have a lot of eyeshadow on or liners on, just enhance that by adding to that collection with like a one-of-a-kind blush or a one-of-a-kind eyeshadow. You know, these these um, mystery boxes or subscription boxes are awesome for that, and they have them where you can mark them as a gift. I said, so <clears throat> for me, for instance, I love movies, so without a doubt, I tell my kids, you know, buy me movies or buy me gift cards, that kind of thing. But they're like, you know, they know that I'm never going to turn away a movie. Never. I'm going to use the Tarte double-ended one for my waterline. But when it comes to my makeup, I won't wear everything. So, if they don't want me to have it sitting here wasting, buy me a food gift card or a movie gift card, right? And for my friends that I, if you don't know them, I know them, but if I don't know their kids, because I haven't seen them in forever, who doesn't love a movie? Who doesn't love a good movie? So, I will always buy a couple extra movies, and right now, huh, pandemic or no pandemic, the Dollar Tree has got some good finds. Mm -hmm. I found Twilight, Breaking Dawn, DVD, on Blu-ray DVD. Yes, I did. My cousin doesn't know it yet. I sent it in my cousin mail to her. She doesn't do unboxes or anything. She's a she just likes to watch. And yeah. She loves the Twilight Saga. And doesn't own any of them. But her passion and her heart, she loves one of a kind type. I'm gonna have to use some setting spray because it's not showing up. I want to use that baby teal that's under the blue under my eye. She loves her uh, t-shirts that are very specific to empowering women in the work field. You know, like the one that says, you know, we can do it, we want you, you know, something of that nature. She adores those type of t-shirts. And since I know she buys those personally herself and those are her type of t-shirts, I don't mess with that because I don't want to buy one that she may not like and feel obligated to keep. But I do know that when Twilight came out in theaters, her and I both went together hand in hand because she went, you know, come came down from out of town every weekend that the movie came out when one of them came out and would spend the weekend at my house with me and my grandmother. And we would go to the movie theater like little kids, stuff our pockets full of stuff, you know, popcorn and, not popcorn, but, you know, stuff our pockets full of snack goods and stuff from the Dollar Tree. Or I would go to like McDonald's and put a cheeseburger in my pocket, because that back then I was a fat girl. And I loved a good cheeseburger with, you know, mac sauce on it and extra pickles and onions. But nowadays I'm like, no. I couldn't stare at a cheeseburger if I wanted to. It, it, it makes me sick. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just not into food anymore. I love food. But I love... I got expensive taste when it comes to food, y'all. You know. Just gonna tell you. Just gonna put that out there. Your girl has got a very expensive palate when it comes to food. And I love, love, love sushi. I'm going to mix two of the colors of the highlight together for the inner corner. And I love, love, love caviar. Mm -hmm. So, when I get that chance to go out and eat those things, that's why my kids know the only restaurant that's low on my totem pole that I will run to on a you know, must-have bases is honestly Taco Bell. I've talked to my BFF, 
Hey, it's Amanda. I see you watching me, a girl. Thank you. Uh, when I first started watching her channel, I would always leave a comment about, and I wish for Taco Bell, because I love Taco Bell, but they changed the formula. They changed everything about it. And they can lie to me and say that they didn't, but I am not stupid. You've seen it. The rice was like Spanish rice. Now it's white with a few seasonings blends in it. The beans used to be a certain texture. Uh, and you can get whole beans. Now they're black beans. And there's some other bean that's refried beans. It's like a soybean base. They can't tell me it's not. It's like a vegan soybean base bean, okay? So what do y'all think? I didn't want it to be to, mm, you know what I mean? I want it to be sexy, but I wanted it to be an open eye. I didn't want to close off my eyes. So no liner on the top. Your girl had her stuff up here. Now I'm tripping. Oh, that's why, because it doesn't look like itself. I'm going to use the Il Maquillage Mascara. This brush is crazy cute. Yeah, I figured if I'm treating everybody else right now, I needed to treat myself and open up some of these mascaras I had preserved and stop putting setting spray in all my mascaras to bring them back to life. I did it as much as I could, and I said, forget that. You are saving too many mascaras. They're going to dry out. Even if you don't open them up, they're going to dry out because I've opened up the liners, and they were already dry, the belt-tip liners made me feel stupid. I was like, oh my goodness, there's a reason why you get them every other month or every month in a subscription box. They know that it should be thrown away by now. Certain things just have to be thrown away, and I have not really convinced myself. Look at that. No lash. At least a little bit of lash. But it, to me, I can see a big difference in my pitiful three lashes right there. I definitely can and I just had to throw them away. I literally had to pull all the little mascaras out, even the Nikki tutorial one that I got in the uh, quarantine box from Meat Base, uh, Beauty Muse, it was dried out. So I just said, forget it. Don't attempt to bring it back to life. It's purple, you can't even see it on your lashes. Call it a day call it rest in pieces in the garbage can but always keep your mascara wands clean them and keep them I employ you this you need them to comb your lashes and if you wear false lashes like I have been and a lot of my friends have been on YouTube you need them to comb out that glue okay keep your old wands you will find a wand that you eventually will like or one one that will be good to comb up with your false lashes because sometimes we get glue on the lashes you know that so sometimes we gotta clean those lashes with you know a wand to brush off all the extra dirt of grit of um, you know of all the stuff all the dirty stuff you gotta clean it off and I have a, a few products you know rubbing alcohol is the best but I ran across this kiss product and it's, as you see, it's a mixture. And so you can tell there's an oil in there and there's like its own little thing. And it's only like $6.99 or $5.99 at Walgreens. And it was the same price at uh, Walmart. So I bet you guys can order it online. Use a Q, I used a Q-tip and I clean, wiped off the, the lash pan and some of my lash itself. And I swept through it with the wand to get the excess glue off and glue off my eyes. No problem. I actually really liked it. So, that is your weekly recommendation. Yes. This is a Lime Crime Liner. I don't know the name because, you know, they want to always write things so small. Which is crazy. Why write it so small? I can't see it. So I'm not going to share the information with anybody. And then it has a, a liquid lip to match. Ooh, that's right. There was no 
stopper in here that I care about. Dab that like an ombre in the center. And then I've been in love with adding a gloss. I'm listening to y'all. I'm watching y'all. I'm loving a gloss when I'm in the house. I feel like uh, Pat D. Lucky. I don't know if you guys know who that is. He's got an Instagram and a, a YouTube. He is hilarious. Comedianish type young man. But he plays like uh, a young lady called Kao and uh, her best friend and the sister and his own mother. Always wipe off your wand after two. So see that? That's the lime climb on there. And I don't want that inside my uh, lip gloss. So if you don't want your lip glosses to spoil, you gotta, just like I said with the moist um, brushes, wipe them off on a dry makeup wipe or paper towel or on a washcloth and get it you know, back to business before you put it back inside of your tube. Okay? Keep it sanitary, you know. And that's it. What do you guys think? I really have liked this look. It's super simple. It's not sticky. Even though this is way overpriced. Way overpriced. I think it was like $26 if uh, BoxyCharm is claiming. It's way overpriced to be as translucent as it is. It's not opaque to color. It's like a topper. So, I use it as a topper. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget, if you are out in the world, keep yourself safe. Keep your family safe. Wash your hands. Keep your hands away from your face. Wear sunglasses or glasses in the air because it's with the breeze and people not wearing masks. This virus travels in the air and it will hit you right up in the eyes and gets in your moist areas. That's why they have us covers on the mouth because it's it can't get in your ear, but it'll get in your eye, up your nose, and in your mouth. So wear your mask, wear gloves, wash your hands, take your hand sanitizer, keep it sexy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.